welcome to the Yoga and Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley, a full-time yoga teacher and embodiment teacher here in Austin, Texas. I am curious about all things yoga and. Today, we'll be talking about the subject of yoga and the foot. From my experience teaching, I have found the foot to be a polarizing body part. Let's explore some of the techniques and ways of viewing the feet through a yogic lens. If you have feet, you might benefit from this episode. I hope you enjoy my personal insights on yoga and the feet. First, I'd like to introduce myself. I am a former Pilates instructor turned yoga teacher. I pulled a lot of what I have learned about the foot from my previous career into my current work in yoga. If you're not aware of Pilates, it's a totally different mind-body discipline. What is unique about Pilates is that it focuses very much on the feet. In fact, most sessions start out with an exercise called footwork. Think of footwork as a car alignment for your body and your feet are the tires in this scenario. Nowadays, I consider myself a yoga teacher who specializes in the feet and for the past two years, I have been teaching yoga foot workshops live in Austin as well as online. I will link my online resources in the show notes. Okay, back to yoga. Let's first define it. Yoga is roughly translated as the yoke of joining two things together, the mind to the body as known in Western culture. It is an ancient spiritual practice that originated 4,000 years ago in India. It focuses on unifying the earthly practitioner with universal divine consciousness. Okay, definition of the foot. Look down at those things connected from your ankles down to the floor with toes at the end. That's a foot. In yoga, the Sanskrit for foot is pada. I will be discussing my aha moments chronologically in teaching from the past 14 years. Aha moment number one, the shoulder to foot connection. Years ago, back when I just taught Pilates, I worked one-on-one with clients who had a lot of chronic tension in their bodies. One day, a client of mine walked into their session with tense shoulders around their ears and requested shoulder stretches for the day's session. I taught what she requested, but I could see in her body it didn't shift the root of the tension. The next week when she came in as an experiment, instead of shoulder stretches, we released her feet and focused on deep breathing. She massaged her feet by stepping on a tennis ball and a beautiful thing happened. Her shoulders moved away from her ears and relaxed down her back. That's when I finally got the connection. When you release the bottoms of the feet, the shoulder tension practically take care of itself. So why is this? Well, when you have tight feet and you stand, it is possible that your feet are tensing away from the floor. In other words, they are not releasing and relaxing down into the floor. This can translate up the chain of the body and create tension even all the way up even to the shoulders. It's as if the tense shoulders were acting as a way to feel held. I began trying this approach with myself and other clients when they had obvious shoulder tension and it continues to work till this day. Aha moment number two my fourth YouTube video. The first year I got certified in yoga, I was eager to get out and create YouTube videos of my teachings. I made a series of four videos, all with a yin yoga themed. Now, if you don't know what yin yoga is, 
It's a wonderful, slower, restorative style of yoga. That'll be another episode as I'd love to explain yin yoga more in depth on this podcast as it is one of my favorite forms of yoga to teach. One of the four videos was called Yin Yoga for the Feet. Till this day, that video gets viewed more than my other couple dozen videos. It could be my quirky socks are endearing, or it could be that people's feet get sore and tight, and this video helps to alleviate that. If you're curious what yin yoga for the feet is like, imagine stretching your feet very slowly and deeply and being with that discomfort. In case you're interested about this video, I'll link it in the show notes. Have you been wanting to start a podcast but not sure where to begin? If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. I really love how easy it is to create. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you to all the major platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcast, and many more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is spelled A-N-C-H-O-R. Aha moment number three. The feet as part of the root chakra. In my own journey of healing and practicing yoga, I have discovered how easy it can be to become disembodied when your nerves are rattled. Through my personal practice and teaching, I began to highlight the awareness of the feet against the earth while standing, articulating through the foot, balancing on the balls of the feet, If you think about it, your brain is the furthest thing away from your feet. By waking up the feet and bringing the mind's eye to the felt sensation of the foot strengthens that neural pathway or brain to foot connection. Suddenly we can inhabit more of our own body. Especially if you can now feel the ground lift up and support your feet, it's perhaps easier to then feel grounded. There are multiple energy centers in the body called chakras. And the first one, known as root chakra, starts at the base of the spine. Now the feet are associated with the root chakra as well. Your root chakra represents safety, stability, security. When it is out of balance, This can lead to feeling instability in one's life and ungroundedness. As an experiment, the next time you feel ungrounded or stuck in your head even, try some simple foot release exercises. I'll list those in the show notes and see if there is a shift. Aha moment number four, the architecture of the feet. In my foot workshops, I love to educate students on the anatomy of the foot. I feel strongly that once they understand the architecture of the foot, it becomes clearer on how to take better care of the feet. Something specifically I highlight in my foot workshops are just how many bones and joints are in each foot. Do you happen to know? Well, I'll tell you. You have practically a quarter of your bones in both feet. 26 bones in each foot, 33 joints. Your entire body has 206 bones and 360 joints. So why do we have so much going on down there? Well, us humans were meant to walk over pebbles and rocks. The feet are designed to maneuver over irregular surfaces. In modern day life, we don't have to deal with that thanks to concrete sidewalks and shoes. 
Because of this, our feet don't get to do much of what they're designed to do. I could spend an entire episode on how most shoes are problematic and even harming to the feet, but I'll save that for another episode. Okay, I digress. When the feet do not have the opportunity to move their joints and bones, this can create immobile and or tight feet. And this can also influence up the chain of the body. Remember the tight shoulders I mentioned before? So what do we do about all this? I have found helpful in teaching as well as in my personal practice when standing you can fan open the bones of your feet against the earth like you're fitting into a wide clown shoe. Root down into all four corners of the foot, big toe, pinky toe, inner heel, and outer heel. The next time you stand in mountain pose, you can do this. So mountain pose, you're standing with your feet parallel to one another. The feet are about six inches apart. Your knees are unlocked, arms are relaxed, long at your side. You're basically standing up tall. From mountain pose, can you feel the floor lift up to support your feet? Can you then relax your feet into the ground? You might notice the relaxing down of the feet creates a rebound effect, an upward lift through the spine, the base of the skull, the top of the head. For me, mountain pose is the feeling of being held between the earth and the sky. What does mountain pose feel like to you? Lastly, I'll leave you with this quote about the foot. It's from Leonardo da Vinci. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. That's all I have for today's episode. If you liked what you heard, please share with your friends. I would love to make a part two on yoga and the foot. There's definitely more content I have to share. If you would like to help the podcast, please leave us a review wherever you listen to your podcast. You can email us at yogaandpodcast at gmail.com. The and is spelled out Y-O-G-A-A-N-D podcast at gmail. Please follow us on Instagram, Yoga and Podcast. Please let me know if you have any specific requests for the show. See you next Tuesday.